Kumasu. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tian. I'm 28 years old and I'm currently in Leufontein. As you can see, my backdrop is a little bit different. I'm house sitting once again. If you've been following my channel for a while, you would know that <laughs> house sitting has become like a hobby for me of some sort. But yes, I am house sitting for friends of mine. I am dog sitting two beautiful little dogs that are not demonic or attacking me in any way shape or form except they attack me with love and attention so that's also fine but we're not here to talk about it. we're here to talk about my reaction video if you do hear weird sounds it might just be the dog jumping up against something trying to steal my attention away from making this video it is now currently at this moment in time, 5.52 in the morning, I don't know if you can see that. 5.52 in the morning, it is raining and pouring for the past four or five days here in South Africa and we've been having load shedding. So load shedding, for those of you who don't know, is where your government or where the people supplying you with energy, when they decide, you know what, no, you're not going to have energy because we are bad planners, we screwed over the country. So now you will sit without power for a certain amount of hours. So for example, last night I was without power for about 5 hours. From about 5 in the afternoon till 10 at night. And now we've moved and there's stages that these things go through. So I'm still just going to complain about that quickly. Uh, so there's stages. Stage 1 is maybe you'll lose power in a day for like 2 hours. Then stage 2 it might be twice a day. Stage 3, 3 times a day. Stage 4... It's about three times a day and each time is about two and a half hours. And they don't stick to the schedule, they just sometimes do not. So now apparently we've hit stage six. In the past, I think more than ten years that we've been experiencing load shedding, this is the first time we've ever had a stage six. So this is apparently where you can maybe with, for 12 hours without electricity throughout the day or 18 hours or four, five, six, seven, eight times a day for some I don't know. So, yeah, we're doing, we're surviving with all this shit that's happening now. The swimming pool is overflowing, the stream is flooding, the, what do you call it, the fence we had around the place is also gone, so. Yeah, it's a very interesting time in South Africa, but we're here. we're here to do another reaction to Baby Metal. I'm very excited to be doing that again. Again, I'm a day late, I mean, I'm... It's like, it feels like I want to give up on trying to be on schedule. So I do apologize if people do get frustrated and irritated with me. I'm sorry. But I'm back again to do the reaction video <coughs> for Baby Metal. I'm just going to take a quick sip of my coffee, as it is not even 6 in the morning yet. So... Today I will be doing this on my phone as my one laptop is upstairs and the other one is charging. And again, I won't have any idea what I'm listening to. So I'll be reacting to in the name of, firstly, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for all the love and support that I've been getting <coughs> on all my other videos. I appreciate it so much. Everyone watching, thank you so much. Now watch it till the end. Thank you. So, again, I don't know anything about this song. Um, I'm going with In The Name Of. So this will also be a longer reaction video because I saw... <coughs> and I don't know why I'm coughing. Because I saw that the video itself is about 8 minutes long. So, I can... That's all I can tell you at this stage is that but I'm very excited. Uh, the last one I reacted to was Akatsuki. And that was still a beautiful song. I listened to the other one that they performed recently, or the other version, not the unfinished version, but the one where they just added more guitars and just... Oh, no! no. And it was really good, but I think the unfinished one is still beautiful, and I prefer that one above the other one. I think they should perform that one more, but that's just personal opinion. for But now I'm carrying on with my Metal Galaxy Tour series, episodes thing something I don't know if it's my name uh yeah anyway I'm gonna stop talking shit now let's get into this oh sorry let me just take that like three seconds I've already listened to it I'll count you in in <laughs>
いただきますドラマティックライティングフェイズオーバーデスステージユーシンおおあっそこのキングフォックスイズデフォックスあっそこのキングフォックスでも、私はそれを持っているので、私はそれを持っているので、私はそれを持っているので、私はそれを持っているので、私はそれを持っているので、私はそれを持っているので、私はそれを持っているので、私はそれを持っているので、私はそれを持っているので、私はそれを持っている But it looks amazing. It looks, it, it's, it's, now there's a witch mage looking with a fabulous costume. It's the Illuminati! Oh, that's a beautiful, that's a beautiful stage. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. This is so cool. Okay, so there are foxes. Okay. I mean, what an in. A entrance. <laughs> What an entrance this is! <laughs> like, yes, all hail, we bow before you as your fox slaves <laughs> drags you. If you ever watched 300, this is,、um, I think, the Persian king's entrance was almost something like this. I think it was 300, the first 300. Where I think his name starts with a D, but the bold guy. And I love the chanting in the background. I'm mad for a little Gregorian chanting vibes. And then their Illuminati symbol. I'm just kidding about the Illuminati symbol. I understand now why the video is eight minutes long because you need to have a fierce entrance like that. Oh, can they just do a close up of the costume? Because the minions, wolf guards, minions, pawns costumes look really cool. And in the lighting, the blue lighting, and it looks like they've added some. Magenta purple lighting use, which is also just working beautifully for atmosphere and aesthetics. Oh, and that whole float is decorated with the wolves. Are, are, with the, is it wolves and not foxes? Oh, we're turning around. We're turning around. y a s You see, this is usually where I think it's beautiful, and then the person turns around and people are like, just like, oh my god, oh my god! And I start crying when they see her. I think that's what happened there. It's like you see her, but she's not alive yet until she moves, and they just freak out. Oh! Demonic red lights. Let's go, let's go, baby metal. Oh my god, I got chills from that timing of the lights and the music. 
La oh my word, there we've got some pyrotechnics going on, yes! Oh, and can I put this? Uh, this is a very interesting song of this song. You don't really hear the, the uh, male voice growling and scream like that. And then of course it lifts. Of course the thing lifts into the air. Fuck, because it's baby metal. Oh my word. I love the almost tribal feel. It's now again they're moving away from the I almost want to say the Asian influence. I can't, I just, I can't. But again, I'm not a fan of all the red lighting they're using. It, they, I understand the aesthetic it creates, but it takes away a lot of the finer details on the stage and the costume and the performers. It drowns out a lot, but it still makes cool effect. I'm just not a big fan, thank you. Okay, they turn it down. <laughs> Jeez, this is amazing! Sorry, okay, I have no idea. Whitewashing her now completely fantastic idea. Very, very good. It gives her that magical, ethereal power that you're looking for. By just giving her so much white light from the... Oh, giving her white light from the back and from the front. But it create, turns into this magical being. And now we're back with all the red. There are, there's a lot of people. There are a lot of people. What? 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 Was that the song? Sorry, it just like. Okay, um, no, I want more, <laughs> that was absolutely fantastic, I want more, I need more, give me more, <gasps> with the many of the live performances I've seen with Baby Metal, <clears throat> most of the time it is an amazing live performance, but I always think what would a music video look like? What would the concept be for a music video? And I always want to wish they would make a music video. But honestly, for this song, you do not need a music video at all, as this live performance is just... Oh, wow! Like I said, the theatricality, the 
spectacle of it all. I honestly, I don't know how I can say anything really bad about this. There are some things that I just didn't like that's a personal, it's not something that someone did bad and that is for example the red lighting which I feel drowns, like I said, it drowns out a lot. It takes a lot away from the effort that you put into what the people look like, what the people's blocking is on stage, what the people are wearing. So that drowns it out a bit. But I don't understand, it is a, with metal, most of the time you do want to create a darker atmosphere, a, a more intense atmosphere and doing like a red wash if i can call it that then it does create that it does create it better than actually using any other colors to have that darker effect because a lot of times metal of course it is darker the subject matter that is sung and performed by most metal artists it is usually dark subject matter i'm not generalizing well i'm not doing generalizing i know you get different genres different vibes but just if you were to take it and put it into a small little container just for this argument then usually it is a dark thing and you want to create that darkness not that all their songs are dark it's just it goes well with the music and as not why they did it i just personally i'm not a big fan of that i like to see um when a sh when a show has good theatricalities i want to see the intricacies they put in the setting in the costume in the blocking in the end everything and all and so on and so forth it was just fantastic our fox heads wolves heads at some point i really thought it was some weird hybrid chimera of a snake and a fox and, and just because of those two teeth i'm like i have no idea what creature this is so if you know what creature that was please let me know because i'm not convinced it's a fox I'm not thinking more of a wolf snake chimera. It's just those teeth really confuse me. But again, I'm not that clued up on foxes at all. And throughout the whole thing, as she was walking slowly and getting ready with her stick and her Illuminati sign, I'm just waiting for more. I'm just waiting for, okay... You've got the guy growling and screaming and grunging and doing stuff, which is just amazing for this piece. But there's still... And the Gregorian chanting, I'm a fan for it. I do enjoy it. I have no problem with it. It also works well with the atmosphere. But I was, I was just waiting for mom. Like, okay, when is Baby Metal coming out? When is... Oh, not coming out, but when are they starting to sing? I want to hear what they sound like. And again, like always, they give you something different, something new, something you're not really used to. And again, they did it with this. They moved away from the pop and they just focused purely on the metal side of things. Which was an amazing choice. I think this is still part, I could be wrong, but this still leans more for me to the new sounds that they were experiencing with, with Papa Yas and Shanti 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 Shanti. Um, versus, I think, Kagero, which now just goes more to the older things. That I personally, it feels more into that. It was really, really cool. Again, like I said, the perf I think I don't, I cannot fault the song, or I can fault the song because Baby Metal isn't singing. <laughs> That's the one fault, and in the red light. Okay, there's two mistakes. One, Baby Metal wasn't singing, and two, but, and two, what am I saying? Ugh, mind, I'm just, it's so amazing. So one problem was the red lighting, the overuse of red lighting. I think I'll say that in, in every video. Here I cannot comment on their dancing or their performance because they were not dancing or performance, performing. Um, and then just Baby Metal wasn't singing, which is really not a bad thing. Again, if that is an opening number to either the second part of the show or the first part of the show, then... I don't know. I honestly don't know. The sounds, again, you had you had the metal, but then they added this tribal vibe, which I personally don't think is that Asian-inspired for some reason. I could be wrong. Like, the whole thing they did on the drums with the wolf, kitsune, minions, pawns, people, 
uh, drumming for me it was very tribal I didn't feel a lot of Asian influence in it that's why I also say I, I'm throwing this more to the Shanti Shanti Papa Ya side of things I just didn't feel it goes in. I could be wrong if you want to school me on a history of Asian traditional drumming music of some sort then school me tell me I'm wrong that's fine uh, but I think I'm going to leave the reaction there. I'm not sure how long this video is as the video itself was 8 minutes long. So I'm going to stop it there. Do you agree? Do you disagree with me? What do you think down in the comments below? I'm still thinking, wondering what is the one song that has people divided. As again, I did not do research. I really love this song. Okay, I will say I love the song for what it is in the performance. Is I don't think it's a song that I would literally search up to listen to. If I'm not completely honest. Uh, I do enjoy it for that. If it does come up, I will listen to it. But it's not a song that I would actually search up. I mean, I do enjoy baby metal. I enjoy some metal. But there is just like a small grain of metal that's just too much for me. Don't hate me. Like I said, I do like some metal. I do like love baby metal. But they are just, there's like a degree of metality <laughs> in, a, in a song that I can enjoy. And for me... The instrumentals were cool, but the screaming, growling, grunging type of thing, I'm not always a fan of. Um, I know that most people are doing correctly vocally, but it always sounds to me like they are hurting their voices. And for me, that it irks me if people do that. So, it is a cool song. The performance was just amazing. Will I watch it again? Most probably, yes. Will I choose to listen to it? Not necessarily, but if it comes on listening to the album and things, then yes, all for it. That's just another personal thing. So, I hope you enjoyed this reaction video. Please let me know in the comments down below what you think and feel. Go watch my other videos. I've just recently starting, started a gaming video series. I'm already on episode 2. Episode 3 will be releasing later this week. So, please check that out and show some support. I hope you have a wonderful day, evening, night with friends, with family, by yourself, with your dog, cat, or pet, snake. Uh, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, hit the likey button, and I will see you in my next video. Groete liefde, vrede, vreugde, lek, vriendskap, pleasure, and all my mooie for you. Don't let fear interfere with your happiness. You deserve all the happiness in the world. Arigato gozaimasu. Bye.